Hey everybody, Jordi of Carbon Fusion here. So this video is going to be a little bit different. The whole video is going to be a voiceover. Um, at the beginning of this video, I just kind of run around my house and show you guys my rooms and my art stuff and what motivates me to um, to um, for this project, what's going to motivate me. This is to do with the Viking chair. It's not going to be so much a Viking chair anymore. It's going to be, well, I'm not, I said I was going to carve the Phoenix on it. And I decided not to carve the Phoenix because this piece of wood doesn't hold detail. And I think if I had to carve Phoenix, I would have to carve detail. So I decided to do the raven, um, the native raven that um, stole the sun and brought light to earth. It's based on uh, Bill Reed that's native. Um, to be able to follow along, there's a owl that me, uh, Ryan, and Uncle Kevin carved. I know it's a little bit dark. To follow the story, I'm. if you want to press pause any time, in the description below, I'm going to leave the link to the story. It's like a page long, and it's the whole story about how the raven stole the sun. So that's what this chair is going to be based on. Um, and for to follow along with the other videos, I don't want to have to keep on repeating myself what, what, what I'm carving on the piece means. It's best that you press pause. And I'll leave the link below in the description and just press pause anytime you want and go read it right now if you want. There's Lee, my cat. Hi, Lee. No. There's the uh, piece of wood. There's the projector. So this is, I am going to show you how to use, how I use my projector. And also, um, the pr projector I got is the Vitzing. Same way. Here goes Lee. I had to let her out and turn the Christmas lights off for the year. Um. The projector that I got, the same one Ryan Cook has. It's called the Vitzing, but I can't find it online anymore. So you don't need expensive. So here's a sticker if the cops ever try to come into my place. Not that they have a reason to. But anyways, if they did, that sticker's there. I'll, I wouldn't even say a word. I'd just point to the sticker. Here's my uh, Let Art Find You room. There's all the boxes I'm saving for that giveaway. We'll do the giveaway on the uh, middle of the month, middle of January sometime. There's those popular slabs that I cut from the crotch. Brought them inside to uh, let dry out. Three stacks of stand paper. Um, so you got to read the story if you want to follow along with the story. If you don't want to follow along with the story and you don't care, well then don't follow along with the story and don't care. It's up to you. There's a slab. I realized when I did it, put the projector on it, it was upside down after I drew the raven on there. And I'm showing you guys this stuff. So here's like, I'm influenced by Japanese. Here, this was like koi fish and there's a Buddha there. It's like Japanese tattoo art. So I'm influenced by that and I'm influenced by native art. There's one of my paintings I did. Watch this. 2012. So it's been like 12 years because I, that's one of my first paintings I did. Not that I'm proud of it. Here's one of the, about a half a year into carving. That's Japanese strength with some waves and the wind up top there. That's our Buddhist wood. And I carved that with my Dremel, I think even before I had the Fordham. And here's a piece of art my buddy, my buddy Jeremy made me. He's been on, he's that tugboat skipper. He's got that company, helped me get that huge cedar log. But he calls that, um, he did that with the grinder and it just burns at the same time. There's my uh, dust mask charging up. There's my toes. And um, shout out to David Grass and James Rankin. There's uh, David Mann pictures. Yep, old school. I had a whole whack of them when my dad used to have the Easy Rider magazines. There's a picture my mom did when she was dying. Yeah, she started painting when she was, found out she was going to pass away. So there's the, some more Japanese. Here's that Japanese Oni, different style. I'm going to carve something like this one day. I know it's kind of dark. I don't know why. Sorry about it. But, um, yeah. Shout out the studio on the lake. There's the carvings everybody sent me. I got more than that. I need to make I'm gonna make a big table to put there. Native art. So yeah, this um there's one of my favorite wood spirits I did. That was such a beautiful piece of cedar to carve. So soft and tight grain. I know it's dark, it's hard to see. I should edit this video, make it lighter. There's some more stuff. There's the owl that uh, Uncle Kevin carved, and I won it when I was with uh, him and Ryan last summer. There's a koi fish that I carved, I painted. So this piece here is from Jody Wilson. 
he's a world famous native carver. He carved this. There's a raven. He carved that for me as a gift. I think I am going to go once I'm done this voiceover. This is my second time doing the voiceover. I didn't say the first one. I think I am going to make this video a little bit lighter. So if the lighting's a bit off, because it just was just there's Lee. Yep. So she got in a little screen there. I, I just kind of peeled back the screen door a bit in the bottom. So she's got a little door. So yeah, I just got home from um, carving the, uh, there's that um, thing that I did with the tattoo ink. Still good. Uh, there's the bum hole planter. Wood spirit. Um, yeah. If you want to follow along with this, like I suggest, read the story. I'll put a picture of it here right now so you can see it, but the words will be too small for you to read on here. So I just so they say, just follow the link. Um, it's more meaningful to me than the Phoenix because it's for myself, right? No, man, she's so affectionate in the wintertime. She doesn't leave me alone. Summertime, she doesn't even come near me. Wintertime, she just wants me to, uh, she wants to steal my heat. Who remembers that project that I did? The Big Burl. I can't even read the name of it. Eagle stuff. I basically sold out of, these are the only carvings I didn't take to the store. Um, I basically sold out of everything this winter, like every winter almost. So there's more of Jody Wilson's, the, the fellow that did the uh, Raven carving. So there's from left to right, Raven. No, so wolf, Raven, salmon, eagle, and bear. Or the bear and wolf might be. Oh, no. The bear is first because the wolf has the tail. So it's bear, raven, salmon. I turn the light off. It's dark here so you don't see the glare. Wolf, raven. See how long the beak is? Salmon. My raven's beak doesn't end up so long, but I don't care. Carving fusion. Fusion comes from... I'm going to carve whatever I want. If I want to carve... There's another tree I got to do. If I want to carve friggin' Japanese and native art and mix it together, I'm going to. I don't give a shit. I'm going to carve what I want to carve. There's the carving room. It's a mess. So there's a Chinese ca China cabinet that was my grandparents, and I saved all that stuff. Over Those are uh, Korean masks on the left there. So that's all stuff from my grandparents. There's a, I think, a Japanese mask. So here's the Eagle by Jody Wilson, too. Um, this one is numbered. It's a numbered print. I think I got, I think the one downstairs is number one out of 100. But yeah, I, I love his native stuff because it's aggressive, so aggressive looking. There's my bedroom. You don't need to see that. It's a big mess. Talk about mess. Check this out. This is where I keep my supplies for Dremel carving. Yeah, so I got all those shelves. I bought those shelves there. Like I just haven't had time to put the stuff on the shelves and reorganize it, but that's what I might do tomorrow. There's Lee's. I got that pillow from my old girlfriend. That's Lee's little bed, so I gave the pillow to Lee. Just makes her cuter. She's, my cat's such a little sweetheart. She's never scratched at me, never bit me. And I poke at her, and I get her pissed off sometimes. She does a slight little growl, and I know that's that's enough for her. But if I'm pissing her off, Instead of her biting me, she'll lick my hand. Just, she's nothing but peaceful for me. Anyways, so what I'm going to do now, is there's that piece that I filmed for. i got to do that too. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to quickly sketch out the raven. I thought, you know, I'll, I'll, this is a good way to, hello, it's me, Jordy. It's a good way to um, show how I use the projector. So I'll sketch it on with a pencil first so you can erase it lots. And this raven is the raven that has the sun in its mouth, so it's an open beak. Like the raven stole the light, stole the sun, and let the sun go on the world. So the raven's the one that brought the sun to earth. That's part of the story. That's the main story, but there's other things that go along with it. It's pretty neat, actually, if you read it. So I'm just sketching it out quickly. I said I'm not going to make the beak too long this time. It would be nice if I could go back and find a picture of uh, that raven carving that I did with my Dremel years back. Um, I gave it to my buddy Jeremy. I think I even put uh, the, the cedar bark in the hair. 
I'll find it. Maybe at the end of this video, I'll see if I can. It might be on my Instagram. But I painted it like the red and black, and I made it look uh, kind of kind of antique. But there, it was. I did a lot of sanding on that piece. You know, I know how to sand too. I know how to sand like the best, but I'm just too lazy to do it. So, but this year I'm going to take my time, try and do some real nice carvings, and um, slow down and have enjoy myself a bit more. So there's the, there's a cabin. There's a cabin involved in the the story. So so I'm saying I don't want to explain it all the time. Just a quick little thing. I like my birds to have, I'm learning how to draw the birds out better. I like them to have the bigger chests like they're proud. So here's the projector. It's the Vitz, Vitzing. I can't find it on Amazon. You do not need, it's the same one Ryan cooks. This one's got Bluetooth. You do not need to go buy an expensive projector. Find the cheapest projector you can get that has Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. I forget. I think it's Bluetooth. But you don't even need Bluetooth. You can plug it in so it plugs into your phone. Okay, so that's that. This is where I'm going to set up the plank slab. There's Lee. Meow. Hi, I'm Lee the cat. Meow. So there it is. It's not, it's on a tripod. It screws in. I don't, that's just getting it going, showing you guys. I don't, when, once I finally get the picture uploaded to it, um, I'm doing Wi-Fi. I have to turn it back sideways. So, but I'm just showing you guys how sometimes you have to put little wedges in there and stuff like that. So here's my other phone, and I'm a little bit confused because I haven't used it in a while. But I think it's called Smart Share. No, I'm not hitting the right button, but it's the button on the top right corner. All I do is hit that button. Boom! It goes to the check to the projector, and see the buttons up in the top right corner. That's the button I had to hit. Yeah, here we go. There you are, Jordy. Hit that button, boom, it will be on the projector, it will be on the slab. Sometimes you have to do it a couple times so your phone picks up the projector. There you'll see it's loading now. I did something wrong. I think I was hooking up to my neighbor's TV or something like that. They're watching TV and all of a sudden, boom, this raven's on there. So, if I did the if I did the uh, the Phoenix, it would have been total copied off the internet. So I said, nah, I want to make this more original. I'm doing it for myself. So I want to be able to en enjoy it and make it more stuff that I like. So there it is. So all you need to do is get your felt pen, stay out of the, li the, the, the light with your hand, and mark it on. I do suggest for the people doing this for the very first time, um, you know, Get all the your trace the lines out as much as you can, and then block the light for the projector. Turn the light on in your house and make sure that you got it all, because it sucks when you take your projector down and realize that you've missed some lines. Like I could have drawn this on the slab itself; it might have been a bit messy, but I thought it was a good time to show you guys how to to do the projector on the wood. Or I could have done like a cardboard template at home and then put that on the pe on the slab that drawn around it this speaks just a little bit more plain than the eagle there's a sun in the mouth so i got it all on i think i walk up and show you guys so it's it's neat to get into and that's how you can make it authentic too right like this is 100 percent carving fusion style i don't know so yeah, so like there's little cardboard wedges that I used. You have to prop it up somewhat sometimes to make it straight. And here's all the things on the wood, the, the marks on the wood. So then I've already carved all this today. It turned out pretty neat, I think. So there'll be a part two. And then we've got other things to do on the chair. Um, I got to cut it out like that. I've already done it today. That worked out pretty good. And um, yeah, so I was carving today first time in basically a month of chainsaw carved and um there's jody's work again and here's lee having she's having a little sleep on her bed little cutie pie watch this so she wakes me up all the time when i'm sleeping i do it to her sometimes too i poke her but yeah how cute's that
She's such a sweetheart, that cat. I love her to bits. She's getting older. That's it. 